Hi, I'm Arla Geyer. One of the really wonderful features of Adobe Lightroom is its printing capability. You can define a particular print, including the printer you're going to use, the uh, paper you're going to use, and the ICC profile you're going to use, the size of the print that you're going to create, uh, all of that, and then, the, and then define that as a particular print template. So I'm going to walk you through that on this uh, using this photograph of a, a firefighter's water cannon um, shot. Uh, we're going to go to the print module and over here we have the templates and uh, I can show you for example in um, in here uh, for the Swannanoa Gathering which is a music series of music workshops that I photograph every year I have a 4x6 print defined which um, prints on 4 by 6 inch paper. It includes a uh, copyright notice. Then I also have 5 by 7 defined, which is defined for, I just cut an 8.5 by 11 sheet in half and put that into the printer. So I've got a custom sheet size that um, I've already defined there. And likewise, I've got a 7 by 10.5 inch print, which prints on letter size paper. Uh, so I've got each of these already defined. So if, I, if someone orders a print that is 8 by 12 inches, um, I've got that ready to go and it's prints on 11 by 17 inch paper. Uh, all these are predefined for me. Or, well, I, I defined them but they're all set to go. So once I've defined them um, it's just real quick. So let's look at how you go about doing that. So let's just walk through the whole process. We go to single sheet over here on the right side under page under layout style. Then we're going to go to page setup. Under page setup, you pick your printer. Uh, hopefully, your printer is already uh, installed, so you ha so that this is in here already. I have a few printers, as you, as you can see, and so pick your printer, and then your paper size. In this case, I'm going to print to I'm going to make a letter size print, and let's make it landscape just for kicks, and then I want to go to properties. Under properties, sheet is fine. Paper, I want, I'm going to print on the ultra premium luster paper. Now, this is a list, it's an Epson printer, so this is a list of Epson papers. If you're printing on a non Epson paper, you simply find the paper that is closest. This particular printer, the R2400, uses a different type of black ink depending on whether the paper is a matte surface or a glossy surface. And so you have to make sure that the paper, the Epson paper that you define here, is of the same type of surface as the paper you're working with. Sometimes it takes some experimentation to determine that. Sometimes the paper that you're working with will have a recommendation. So in this case I'm going to use the ultra premium photo paper luster definition and this is the resolution of the print. Fine is actually the lowest resolution. Best photo is the highest native resolution. Photo RPM RPM stands for Resolution Performance Management, and that's a software enhancement to the best photo function, um, resolution that uh, is supposed to, um, it's, it's theoretically a higher resolution, and uh, it basically it just means that the dots, that um, the little sprays that the printer is making are a little bit more accurately sprayed and where you might see the differences in a very subtle gradation of tone. It will slow down the printing a little bit to use that but um, if it's going to make a better print I'm all for it. Uh, I've got landscape checked here. High speed or not the difference there is whether you want the printer carriage to print um, going from, as the carriage moves from left to right only or whether you want it to print going left to right and back from right to left again. So I have never seen a quality degradation from using high speed, so I always use it. On the right side here, color management. If you do not have an ICC profile for your printer and paper, then you want to have color controls checked. You probably want a gamma of 2.2, which is the um, current standard these days. And um, then here, I don't know, uh, maybe Epson standard something maybe you maybe you want more vibrant prints you could do the vivid um, whatever 
and uh, then you probably want to leave these alone unless you have a real good reason to change them. But if you do have an ICC profile for the printer and paper that you're using, the ICC profile is a it's calibrated for that specific printer and that specific paper to produce optimum colors. You can make you can have custom profiles made or you can uh, Epson's very good about having profiles for all of their papers and printers. So I have an ICC profile or ICM profile and so I'm going to click that and then this is the most important part is I simply want to turn off color management in this dialog because I don't want my printer to control my color. If I don't have the profile then I do want the printer to control it so I check something else. But in this case I click that. We don't have to do anything in page layout or maintenance, so I'm finished here. Click OK and click OK. And here we have the beginning here, and now under um, the print dialog, zoom to fill, I don't want to do, rotate to fit, I want to do that because if I have a uh, portrait photograph that I want to print using this definition, it will rotate it around to landscape and so that it utilizes the whole, uh, so it'll print the whole thing. So now down here under layout, uh, the first thing I want to do is, of course, I want just one row and one column because I'm only making one print. And I'm going to determine what I want my width to be. And let's say this the paper's 11 inches wide, so I'm going to make this, say, 10.5 inches. And when I do that, that'll shrink it like that. And now I can, if I specify a particular height, if that height is um, is smaller than the proportions will allow for the width, then it will reduce the width. Uh, I can just say go to the max on that and let the width determine the size. Um, or I can try to make this be something that's going to be the same uh, proportions. Honestly, um, as long as my uh, I'm not going over on the width, I, as far as I'm concerned, I'm cool on that. Uh, that way, if if the print's a little bit uh, if it's been cropped, I can it can include a little bit more there. Uh, and you can also specify uh, margins here, which would affect what you're what you're able to do down here. So you can play with all those settings to get the size print you're looking for. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Now we're going to move on down here. Guides we don't have to worry about. And page. Currently I have a uh, a um, copyright symbol in there. If you have a copyright notice you could do that. Let's not confuse the issue right now with that. So I'm just going to not check the identity plate. Uh, and I'm not going to check watermarking. So we're not really, you know, that would be really a topic for a different discussion. So we're going to jump all the way down here. Uh, we don't need to restrict the print resolution, so let's uncheck that. Uh, I do my sharpening in uh, Lightroom manually, so I'm not going to do any specific print sharpening. But here we have color management. Now this is very important. So if we do not have an ICC profile, then we're going to click Manage by Printer. And you remember that back in the page setup, we would have specified something there. But we do have an ICC profile. So if you don't have it listed here already, which you wouldn't if you have not done this before, you want to click Other. And here you will have all the profiles that are installed on your printer. You can see that I have quite a few of them. I have profiles for uh, some printers that I don't own, uh, for example, the uh, Pro 9880, and um, uh, because that I have a service print that, and I want to use the profile that's correct for it. But in this case, I want to find my uh, SPR 2400, and I am using the Premium Luster Photo RPM. It's important that your profile match not just the paper but also the print quality that you've specified. So if you are using best photo, you can check that. So let's just check that um, to have that available. And you want to check all the ones that you want to be able to access easily. So then you click OK. Some of those are kind of cryptic. For example, Canon has a very cryptic uh, 
abbreviation for those things and you may have to look that up someplace so now if I click in here you'll see that I have the um, R2400 premium oh that's a premium semi-gloss here's premium luster RPM and that must have been semi-gloss that I checked there but anyway I had specified that I wanted um, RPM so I want to make sure that I have RPM here just make sure that these all match the profile and your printer definition everything needs to match there uh, okay so that's everything I need to do here and now I want to save this profile so I'm going to click the template browser plus to create a new preset and I'm gonna call this uh, let's see it is the R2400 and it is um, luster and um, it's 10.5 inches wide and let's put that in my I have uh, different folders in here for uh, different size prints and this is going to be um, you've got size, mail so I know that that's um, that's where it belongs so I'm going to create that and now if we look in here under letter size we see R2400 uh, luster 10 and a half inches wide so I can now go ahead and print that by clicking print here and so I click print and I shouldn't have to check anything because these everything's been defined already so you can see everything's in here if I, if I want to be reminded what the, what I've set I can click in there I don't have to check anything there I just click OK and off it goes now it's going to prepare the print job and then send that to the printer and then in a week or a month or a year if I want to make another print and you can see right there it's printing away uh, and all I need to do is specify that particular preset and all of those decisions are already made for me I don't have to do them again so I hope that was useful to you have a good day